Was I being unclear? Was I being ambiguous? Which part of stay the hell away from me don't you understand? Nah, it's all good. I just thought I'd bring the check personally this month. You traveled 80 miles to drop off an alimony check that you could have put in a mailbox two blocks away? Lee, give me some credit. I'm not that stupid. This is the kind of thing you used to do back when we were dating, when I tried to break up with you. Nah, it's cool. Look in the envelope. There's a special surprise for you. A friend of a friend found some old coins and, uh, well, it's a long story, but I think now you're going to be able to move your dad from that shithole he's living in now into a nice nursing home like you wanted. First she marries that lunatic. Then she sticks me in this god-awful place. I can't, I can't accept this. It's a wonderful gesture, but I know that in your mind, it will mean we're working our way towards some reconciliation. Lee, look at what you're doing. You always want what you can't have. The custom-made car, the house that's just been sold, the celebrities, the centerfold, the model. Now it's me. Now that I've finally divorced you and moved far, far away, and am seeing someone else, now that I'm not in the same house, in the same bed anymore, it's finally Whoa. me. Back the hell up. Did you say you were seeing someone? Who is he? Do I know him? As a matter of fact, you do. I met him at one of your office parties back in 07, back when we were still married. Oh, no, no. This isn't happening. Is he a friend of mine? <laughs> From the way you've talked about him, I wouldn't say so. Mm, and I know you. Now you're going to go into martyr mode. Why don't you just wear a robe and a crown of thorns on your head? Hey, you have a right to a life. But I have a right to a life, too. And you took my life away. And you left me. And I'm going to get you back. You'll see. And we might not be married again. But I'm going to be your fucking boyfriend. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You want to go another round? I kicked you to the curb a year and a half ago. We have absolutely nothing in common. We're not even friends anymore. The sight of you chills my blood. But okay, how in your demented, delusional mind are you going to get me back? Like Blondie says, one way or another. I heard the whole thing. Heads up. You better get off the premises or I'll call the cops. Oh, not him. It can't be him. Tell me you're just friends. Please tell me you're just friends. Hey, you two do have something in common. You're getting the pink slip and she's wearing hey, one. You fucking asshole. Get your hands off her. Oh, yeah? yeah. yeah fuck you. Fuck you, man. I can't fucking believe this. You, the fucking guy that's been making my life miserable for the past 11 years, and now you're sticking your dick in my wife? Ex-wife? Shut your wife. fucking mouth! I've wanted to kill you every day for the past 11 years. By 5 o'clock every day, I'd be in such a foul mood, and I'd go to the bar, and I'd fucking get drunk. But even that wouldn't help. And then I'd go home to her. She'd put her arms around me. And I'd forget that you ever fucking existed. Stop it! I, I had a double bypass two months ago. You could kill me. You're threatening her or blackmailing her or something. There's no fucking way she'd go for a sack of shit like you. What the fuck are you doing, old man? Please, stop. <laughs> you can't be a doctor.